Good hello, YouTube and beyond. My name is Array7 coming to you at the speed of sound and the intelligence level of toast. I think we can all agree on one point. The Vaccinator is easily the weakest of the metaguns. Not that we don't appreciate the effort Valve put into making this, of course, but quite frankly, even with the rebalancing heavy quotation marks they did during the gunmetal update, it was moderate garbage before, but it's way worse now. That's not to say it doesn't have its moments, but quite frankly, they're much too few and far between to choose the vaccinator when literally every other medigan would do the job and possibly better. The worst part about this is I really like the vaccinator. It's an interesting idea and in my opinion, the sexiest of the metaguns. Now, some people will attest saying that the vaccinator is better than popping bubble wrap with an RPG, and for them, that may be true, but in the grand scheme of things, no, no, it's not. The thing is, though, it very well could be one of the best, but basically, here are the problems with the vaccinator. First of all, we need to understand what the vaccinator is designed for. With the obscenely small amount of time it takes a game uber charge, and the fact that the bubbles themselves can be applied to different patients blocking 75% aroni, it's clearly an offensive weapon. The resistances are meant to be able to push through choke points and absorb the incoming damage, all the while protecting the medic himself. So the idea itself is fine, in fact it seems to be something that the medics need, however, comma, the execution in the form of this wonderful little piece of trump is abysmal at best. Now it sounds great on paper, but folding that into an airplane and sticking it in the game is never gonna fly. Not for nothing though, the biggest problem with the metagun really isn't the gun itself, it's us. Okay, that sounds bad, but hear me out. Using this metagun takes too much time for your average player to judge what situation requires what. Not only is it going to take you a little while to realize that the heavy over there is giving you the prison eye, it's going to take another few moments for you to manage the right resistance. I sure as hell don't remember the cycle, and knowing me it's probably going to take going around the wheel a couple times to get the right one. I'm already having a hard time babysitting, you're going to make me flick through channels like I'm looking for Sports Center? No thanks. And then, their idea of rebalancing is an overheal nerf? This minus 66% overheal rate bullshit isn't just inefficient, it's downright unnecessary. In Highlander matches, overheal is incredibly important, and since you're dealing with such a large group of people, the medic can't be healing everyone at once, despite how hard some of them try to. By overhealing, you figuratively increase your range of effect, and by having an embarrassingly slow overheal rate, you either have to heal your teammates twice as long to get the same results as a stock or Kritzkrieg, or simply play without the extra health, which for the record is never a good idea. With that useless statistic tacked on, you've pretty much narrowed down the already limited amount of use that this gun has and condemned it to a peasant compared to its amazingly incredible brothers. The vaccinator's overheal penalty is just plain unwarranted considering the way the gun's designed, simple as that. Which brings me to the potential soup de gras of the vaccinator, its uber charges. First off, the four smaller charges are a godsend. Getting at least something you can use and being able to use it quickly is this metagun's saving grace, if it can so be called so, called that so. However, the charges themselves are also part of the problem. It blocks crits plus 75% of matched incoming damage, and that's all well and good, but even so, they don't quite have the same game-shifting power even used correctly as the other metaguns. And not only that, but for any competent team where focus fire is an actual thing, you might as well be healing him with a roll of duct tape. And sure, you can activate all the resistances on one person at once, but when you spend god knows how long building a charge only for it to last 2.5 seconds, and not only that, but you're also entirely vulnerable to melee attacks which just so happen to have an entire class devoted to them, you're plain out of luck, just like Steve Buscemi in a Magic Mike lookalike contest. Basically, it's a lot of work for a little, little bitty payoff. So here's the bottom line. The Vaccinator is easily the least used metaguns out there, there's no denying that. The Uber charges are a tad weak, it takes a supercomputer to use, and overhealing with it is quite dead to us. In my humble opinion, in order to make it viable, Valve would not only have to drop the overheal penalty like an ugly baby, but modify it so the gun is worth building Uber with. Because right now, those little bubbles, as novel of an idea as they are, fall pretty flat. In the end, I really want to love the Vaccinator, I really do. It has the potential to be a great mix-up in gameplay, but at the moment, it's not quite there yet. So tell me now, what do you all think? I'm sure there are people out there who have unlocked its hidden secrets, and I'd love to hear what's on your mind. Ladies and gents of the men, my name is Array to the 7 and this has been a discussion on why the Vaccinator is the weakest metagun out there. I hope you'll have a wonderfully handsome rest of your day, and may all your heavies have sandwiches at the ready. I'm the invincible, undefeated champion, Mount Zion's my ancestors can't rely on. 
Star of David, nah, the thought of star dumb. Modern dumb and done crumbs left to the dumb thumb to this play button, glutton of words. Mud, mutton, birds of fly to fly to you, dropping turds. Hopping up on ignorance to feel how your mighty pop up the real. Dance the visual, cry to deity. Pious piety, mighty be the